Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Reich. I'm your host, Mr. Italian Lover. And right now, we're led by a certain Natalo Dude Arena. Who's a, did you know he's a dictator and a warmonger? But regard, regardless, we're doing a couple focuses here, which I think I did one of these. I think I created the Instituto Luce. Many dissidents would surely put aside their anger if only they could be shown the truth. To show them our undeniable above benevolence, we should establish a department dedicated to popular enlightenment and morality through means of new forms of mass media and begin risorgimento. Tom Scott, Italy. This wonderful land of abundance shall again be united. Viva Italia! So our third boar war? Rebellions? Nice. Let's see, what do we want to do here? At this point, land force build the Poe defensive line? Probably be a good idea. The ragtag defense to stop the cynicals back in 1920 will not stop them now. We must build up a border force and trenches to prepare for another mass assault by them socials. But as you can tell, we're actually holding out. So, some, so, somewhat. Somewhat. Somewhere here. Um, if you already bought a fire and sour, please go ahead. What a childish fantasy. But overall, we're like... As long as we're holding in the mountains-ish territory, we're doing relatively okay-ish. Uh, yeah, they don't have a lot of equipment, which looking, do be looking very nice for us. So my goal is just to hold out. Um, some of these guys are 40 count, but not a lot. Not a lot of them. Hold on. Follow Boston. Oh yeah, Canada got involved too, but hey, whatever. That doesn't concern us right now. As long as we're holding, that's... Oh, uh, how to say something, didn't I? I had to really say something, didn't I? Beat back those German boys. Come on, come on. Oh, this is not good. And technically, this is not even core territory for us, too, either, so... Hopefully, we can win here. If not, we still got some mountain provinces here that we can still rely upon, so... Everyone else, hold, 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 until they bleed themselves out. Hopefully, we don't lose any more tiles here, and hopefully, we can get in here before they do anything else. Tricky. Oh, uh, but basically, we're... I'm just gonna hopefully hold until we basically die, until they come kill us all, but we'll see what happens. So far, though, we're doing okay. And if they want to kill themselves in line, well, that's okay with us. Uh, military exercise, I don't really need to do that one. Oh, what is this? Armenian Uprising? Very nice. Italy is united. Well, we can't quite do that one. We'll probably go economic planning them. With the depression brought on by Black Monday, pretty much over with. Uh, we must make certain that such a collapse never happens again. Oops, my bad. To do so, we should establish a government organization focused on long-term economic policy. As we're just kind of hanging out, having a good old time. Hopefully not dying here. Um, honestly, once the Germans are gone, and they're fighting their little stupid war against the syndicalists, we might be able to push out, maybe, maybe. But overall, as you can see, like, it's honestly not that bad. We do have Mr. Organization Recovery Rate, Division Organization Supply Consumption, but. And also, this is not too bad either. Like, we, we, are, out of, we are out of a lot of artillery. But, overall, I, I can't say we're doing too badly until the other Italians attack us. So, yeah. Overall. Not too shabby. We're building some more millies. Oh, yeah, let's build up some, uh, some uh, radio stations. That could help us out, too. Oh, that's not good. Oh, look at that. Emilio de Bono. Not bad. As long as I can hold out, that's all that matters. Uh, military's economy? The economy and the military must not be at odds. They must be like two complementary gears in a greater machine. Yeah, a lot of you guys recommended that I do this when, we're go when Austria is trying to beat the Hungarians. I was trying to get there as fast as I could, but as you can tell, it didn't really work out that way, which does kind of suck. But we killed off a third of a million of the... Danubians, which is pretty nice. You know, they got plenty of manpower still, so... Ooh, seven is just not good. Yeah, they got plenty of manpower. Um, you guys have plenty. I just hope that the Reds win for a while. Because we could really... Crap, we lost that tile too. How did they win? How did they win? They're slowly trying to beat us back. Slowly. So incredibly slowly. Um, they can still easily win, though. Like, not gonna lie. Uh, we could use more manpower. We do get 1.75, so that can kind of be okay. We don't have air superiority, which really does suck. I just don't think there's really much we can do about it. They, don't, they have more planes than us anyways, so yeah. Yeah, they're slowly kicking us out. But then again, once we're forced out, we'll literally be on our own territory, so... Yeah. It's fine, let them in. Because once the Germans are gone, they're, they're honestly not going to be able to do very much. The Austrians themselves, the Danubians, cannot do very much against us. Also, I did do a few of these, like, I wanted to get this stuff done just because I wanted to see how far we can go with this. But we do get some Orientalist claims on different... Okay, what the heck is this? On different claims on different parts of Italy. Or what should be fully Italian, so... Dalmatian Coast... Uh, obviously Savoy. Uh, ooh, better. Engineers are very, very good to have. But yeah. They're definitely paying a very steep price for this, which is good to see. Um, overall, we're making a little more artillery than we're actually losing. Yeah, I mean, our guy's looking not too bad. I did make sure this guy has defensive doctrine. He's got max planner. Um, let's take a look here. As long as we don't lose. That's my biggest worry. As long as we don't lose. 
Since we're here anyways. Ooh, excavation. Don't really need to change that. Air Force, just go and do that one. That's fun. After economic planning, then what? Military's economy, yes, please. Yeah, it's just been kind of a slog fest here. I don't really feel comfortable sending my navy out either. There's really no point to. I really don't see a point. But yeah. It's, it's definitely a slog. But that gives us time to do other stuff too. So we're done with this side already, which is nice. Um, I would like to get some more land auction. But at the same time, market protections? Eh, this stuff is okay. It's not really needed. Infantry offensives. Nice. That should give us... Ooh. Vargas proclaims a new state. He's assumed direct control. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, other than that, let's go do what? Improve decimetric radar. Not bad. Get some more up-up. They've slowed down their attacks. Modernize their guns. Why not? Our armed forces still largely rely on the same outdated weaponry as during the Valkyrie. We must bring our small arms up to par with the rest of Europe. And Brazil is falling apart. Oh, do you have an upgrade? Logistics. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Some better cannons. Very nice. Get some better guns as well. I'm not going to upgrade the artillery because we're already out of that stuff, but I can wait for a little bit. Did the Germans leave? No, they have not left yet. As much as I would love to attack. I'd say we're doing quite well. Oh, there goes part to China. I'm glad they haven't naval invaded, and even though I've just said that, they're probably going to naval invade now. Some more radar as well, because that would definitely help us out in our capabilities of defending. And this is why I went max and not max entrenchment, but like grand battle plan to get that extra entrenchment so it's nearly impossible for them to win against us. So, got to think about it before they actually do it. So, Come, couple comments. Someone says, uh, I should attack the commune, the French Republic, and the Swiss. Well, we'll see. We'll see how far we can get with this campaign, because it looks like it's still, I won't say anyone's campaign, but it's not looking super great. Still not bad, but still. Someone says, I should join the Russian state, or, or will we join the Russian state, because they went national populist? Eh, maybe, we'll see. Whoever is a national populist is a friend of ours for now, until we don't like them. Can Bal Italo Balba get Irredentist claims on Italy? Yes. Yes, I can. So we have claims on Dumatia, Suterol. Uh, do we have claims on you guys? Yeah, we do. we got claims on every place, pretty much. And someone says, we're a more competent Mussolini. Basically, just bait your enemies into, att into attacking you a whole bunch, and we'll see what happens. The Gearing Revolt, not bad. Chile is doing third international, not bad, pretty good. And they just grind, grind, grind against us. And look at that artillery. Not bad, especially now that we have some uh, radar. Modernize our guns, please. Thank you very much. Only killed off half a million of them. By getting better radar, getting radar, period. Better engineers, stuff like that. All super helpful. Uh, some better planes, fighter manufacturer. I think, what was it? Agility is the most important one, so Acad Academia Aeronautica de Brescia. Not bad. So after this focus, we'll, let's go and do uh, Servizio Auxiliario Feminili. The potential of Italian women to contribute to the war effort still remains largely untapped by establishing all female volunteer units to serve and support roles within the army. We can begin to harness the abilities of our honorable sisters. Ah, we love our sisters some days. Definitely some days. Ettore, do you have anything for us? Yes. We're going to need as much attack as possible for later. Um, how are these? Mm, they're looking okay. You can have the signal company. You can, you can afford it. We're in max. We're capped for divisions now. Oh, now we're out of guns. That's really good, actually. No one really wants to help us out, though. Which does suck. It seems like we should be able to attack. I'm just going to wait for the Germans to get involved with something else. Oh, where'd Hungary go? Well, they're gone. Sucks for them. Save a little bit more on guns first. Because, my goodness, I mean, they've really just killed off all their guns. They must have, because they have plenty of manpower. Which, don't get me wrong, I... Oh, look at this. Yeah, they're out of guns. I mean, as you can tell, like, they're out of guns and stuff like that, which is fine with us, but Carl the First. Oh, the Constitutional Revolt fails. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't like fighting these German divisions. They're very tanky. So as long as we can hold for now, and once the Germans leave... We should be able to do relatively okay, especially if the Belgrade Pack does anything too. Syria's doing quite well. Look at that. Istanbul Pack ain't doing so hot. The Cairo Pack still also need to also play as Azerbaijan. Because someone says they do, they, do, they can do pretty darn well, so I'm interested in playing them sometimes well, so yeah. We're one division over, which sucks, whatever. And we'll do that next. Commander Initiative. Officers must be given the opportunity to respond to changes in their unit's tactical situations. We should encourage officers to plan and act as this as the situation on the ground dictates. I really want to attack there. 
We could try attacking, maybe. I mean, they're just... Yeah, they're super weak. Not bad, not bad. We can actually push them back a little bit, which is actually pretty darn nice. Good. Hopefully you stay there. Good. We actually did push. Not bad. We're only 27 divisions max, but not too bad. If we could take like, this tile, that'd be great, but that still would be enough to cut, to cut off. Argentinian free territory. Spain's looking pretty bad. Uh, Argentina's looking pretty normal. And America do be looking kind of messy. And there goes China. And if we don't attack, we can get spend some time. Oh, we got more than enough guns now. Look at that. Yay. And they're attacking us everywhere again. It's pretty nice. I'd love to get Bozen, please, perhaps. It's a roll. Uh, yeah, Italian or dentism policy, even though we do need more of actual Italy with us, so. Oh, yeah, we need this one. Well, we need everything about Italy. Hmm. Yeah, we got a lot to do. Commander initiative is pretty good to do. I really needed that much, though. Keep making our stuff. I must, we must have made that extra stuff. Cool. And they just keep going at us. I mean, they just keep going, 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 going. Which, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy. And we're full strength here. We should be able to actually be able to win. Hey, there's all six automated on August. Nice. Oh. There we go. We are slowly pushing in. How many divisions do they have? Up to 110. Okay, then. So the German divisions have now left. I still want to be careful of how we attack as well. It's not good to just do all willy-nilly attacks. Kind of like this one, actually. Yeah, we'll see. Nice. Get some more cap as well. Naval stuff doesn't really concern us too much. Light tanks, you might as well grab that one. Denmark, nice. The Royal Wedding. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Oh. Huh. Alright. Very cool. And then, modernize Alpini. Were it not for the bravery and skill of the Alpini, Italy would surely fall fallen sooner to the central powers than the Valkyrie. These incredible mountaineers, however, have fallen into disrepair since the Valkyrie's end. We should focus on bringing the Alpini back into the fighting form. Absolutely. Ah, since we wants to start doing that too. That's probably a bad idea. No, we're actually... We have enough guns. It's fine. I want to get to here, to Innsbruck. Yeah, so there's two separate tiles. Cut off some divisions and then circle and destroy them. I would love that so much. Level 4, 6, 5 is not bad. Honestly, as long as they want to keep killing themselves on the line... I'm okay with this. Dig for resources. They're running out of manpower. Like, holy crap. They do be having plenty of fuel. Uh, we do need more factories as well, though. Can you guys actually attack there and win? kind of doubt it, honestly. But if we can circle, like, seven to eight divisions... That wouldn't be too bad. Ah, two Sicilies doing the right back down. Huh? Alright, so be it, so be it. Not bad, not bad. We're still doing relatively okay this year. Got enough guns. Artillery is still going to be a little bit of a struggle bus, but that's okay. As we do need to get a lot of the focuses done too, so. I could attack here, but I don't really feel like doing that one. Oh, we were so close. We were so close to glory here. 69,000 versus almost 900,000. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh, there goes Russia. Yeah, they're attacking the Germans too. Alright, you guys are struggling. We only lost like 3,000 in that assault. Russia intervenes in the Valk Creek. Good luck. Goodbye. And let them try to attack us again. Yeah, now we can't win here. Hmm, it looks like the French are slowly pushing them out. Maybe? But it's still too early to call. Way too early. Uh, how do they get more resources that quickly? Holy crap. 
We just don't have enough resources, really, to do another attack. We pretty much just have to wait. There's nothing we can do. These guys are doing really well, which is not good for us. Um... How big is the Austrian Navy? Quite big. Okay, then. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, so then Alpini Town. And they're back to attacking us. Great. Reform the Arditi. The Arditi represent the best that Italy has to offer. These elite units specialize in infiltration, especially through unconventional means and in harsh environments. Let's reorganize the Arditi to better represent the rapidly evolving role of special forces in modern warfare. That's what I thought. I didn't think they'd be able to break our lines. Let's try it again. Heave ho, heave ho. Forcing attack is probably a bad idea, but whatever. Go, 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 go. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, for the love of God, we got it. Oh, my goodness, I can't believe we actually got it. But now I have to fight over a river to get to Innsbruck. God dang it. Ooh, this is definitely chaotic. Come on, rack him up. The French are doing quite well over here. Especially... Because Germans are, Germans are fighting two fronts, so. Don't worry about attacking over the river just yet. Scouts independent for that one. Poland joined the Reichsback. That's probably a bad idea for them, but whatever. Let them continue to assault us. Has anyone seven yet? Some of these guys are really experienced. Like, holy crud. Now we got enough infantry equipment for now, and though we're going to have some. Replace very soon, anyways, but whatever. Nice. It would help. Uh, well, maybe not if the Reds started attacking. I could just get some more. Like, this was supposed to be our territory. There's no point to move yet until they finish, stop, finish attacking us. So, Chief of the Navy. Give him a research speed. Cruiser, light hull, cruisers, carrier, heavy ship, yeah, that one. I would love to attack here, though. To help push out the line a little more. Maybe make us appear to be a little weaker, as well. We get enough support there, especially as they're attacking this tile, which is fine with us. 73, nice. 76, oh yeah. 67. Come on, 70. Come on. Don't lose this one, man. That would suck. Guns are looking slightly better. Artillery is looking slightly better, too. Even some light tanks and some positive amount of fighters. Look at that. Huh. Nice. Hopefully they don't raise the conscription level, which they will. We've already killed off a million of them. Like, I know this front's not moving very much at all, guys, but, like, it's a bit ridiculous. And by bit, I mean very ridiculous. Oh. Nice. Wow. Vilnius Uprising, eh? This is kind of impressive, not gonna lie, for these guys. Alright, our DT time. Final reforms. The army has now been all but completely reformed. The soldiers and officers now stand at the ready to reestablish Italy's rightful place among the great powers of Europe. All right, so now we're doing the Aeronautica Nazionale Italiana, in which that one reads as, our small air force consists of volunteers using what few planes can be scrounged together from foreign supplies. We must establish a formal air force and prepare training pilots, and then, uh, we can probably this one. Pilot training. The volunteers who currently make up the bulk of our military pilots are gradually Largely, former amateur enthusiasts who with ample skill in the air. We should put these experienced flyers to work to establish a training regimen for new pilots. As as you can see, we're, we're doing, still doing pretty darn okay here as these guys are killing themselves on the line, which is still okay with us. We've lost about 100,000 though, 110,000. We've cut off almost 1.5 million, which is pretty darn decent, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah. We're still doing pretty darn well here. They're out of manpower though, which is awesome, awesome, awesome to see. They actually have no equipment, and now they have no manpower, so... Yeah, even though I think the SRI, oh, they're not unite. Okay, so they were getting closer. Rome is still there. That fell. Who is that? Huh. 
But hopefully, as we keep killing off their own manpower, we can hopefully push and do very well here. But as long as they keep attacking us, uh, I'm not really going to question them too much. So, on it. Annabelle? Annabelle? Anything there? No? Okay, then. Um, we could go to war economy, but we can wait. Upgrade airports. Let's do military exercises to get down here eventually. Or no, no. Let's do the Venetian Arsenal. New Venetian Arsenal. Venice was once home to one of Europe's largest shipyards, and its dockers are still rife for or expansion. Let us find a new naval arsenal in Venice. Oh, absolutely. Yes, please. As long as these guys don't get more and more army XP. No. Uh, manpower. They're on extensive, so they must have raised the conscription level. Which, yeah. Uh... That sucks, which means they will get the manpower back, but they are, don't have any equipment, so which is good as well, but still, then again, do we have any equipment? No, we don't either, so we're kind of sunk for now. Um, let's get two there, and as much as I love making this, let's make that one first and then make some more millies, maybe? Sounds like a plan, maybe? Yeah? Yeah? What if we try to expand out? Can we actually win here? We should be able to, I mean, what is this? Mount it's still mountains. God, why does Italy and Austria have to be filled with so many mountains? Ah, oh, look at that. I mean, they're literally just, like, dying here. Luckily, not everyone's moving in, but... There you go. Hold. The Balkan Research Initiative. Recently, the Serbian Republic set up the Balkan Research Initiative. An international pooling of scientific and investigative minds helped strengthen the region. Though not declared, it's clear that the initiative's primary goal is to bolster military capacity and preparation for the war against who, those who threaten us. Serbian diplomats have afforded us a formal invitation to the group, which would require us to divulge military and industrial secrets in exchange for Serbian plans and information. It could be a lucrative endeavor. Howard could also recruit in simply strengthening themselves off of our hard work. How should we respond? We don't trust them? Of course we don't trust them. We'll do it, do it anyways. We can. We need as many allies as we can get in this world. So, I'm actually going to try to push it this way as well. Um, we're maxed out for capacity for stuff like that. Oh, well, there goes Rome. And these guys are still doing pretty darn well. Uh, Russia has slowed down a little bit in their assault, but they're still doing pretty well against Ukraine. Unfortunately, because we took that towel, this is looking pretty darn bad. It's actually looking a little better than it was before. But oh well, we have another cup of coffee to keep it nice and warm. There goes Germany, Asia. Goodbye, Germany, Asia. Goodbye. Now, what happens if we do this? Could we actually win here? God, I hope so. But, you never know. And our guys are looking pretty good. Uh, really good in defense, though. Wow. Wowzers and Bowsers. 1.56. Nice, nice, nice. Pilot training. Eastern Seas War. Very good. And the new Venetian Arsenal. We should be able to do well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, please. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. If we can get there, that would be so good. And then we can just probably do a general attack. Move up north, move up north, move up north. Um, you guys go here. Keep these guys in place. Keep these guys in place. Even if we lose some guys here, I do not care. Oh, come on. Get in there. Get in there. Go, 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 go. We don't have time for this. Oh, we got him. We got him. Okay, so everyone hold. Everyone hold. Everyone hold, 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 hold. And please make sure you have enough divisions for this as well. Nice. If we can kill these divisions off, that's five. Six, well, five. Yeah, well, plus six is 11. 11, 12, 13, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 division stuck. Ah, that's so nice. Market protection. To stimulate domestic production, the economy must be protected from the predatory trade policy of the foreign nations. We should apply heavy tariffs on certain finished goods. Let's just get that other one done. Let's go for a million next. We need, we need a few more millies here. Because that last push, it didn't hurt us that badly, but we could definitely still use some stuff here. Uh, what's going to happen if I take out all these guys? Um, do we just straight up annex the entire Danubian Federation? Now, I would love to attack, but I want... We just need to have a lot more attrition happening here. And, yeah. My coffee is actually still pretty hot. So, so. Give us some talent. Got some signal companies. Very nice. Very nice. 1940. Very good. Very good. Uh, get some extraction, because we'll need that for later. Radar is very good as well. 1940 stuff. Ah, uh, get some recon. Why not? I'm feeling pretty good. I did not think we'd actually be able to, like, encircle these guys off. And we have so much political power. Um, I guess before that, getting rid of that stuff wouldn't really matter too much. I'm just waiting for them to starve a little bit more. Just starve a little bit more. And they're still attacking our lines. So there's really no rush. Even though I'm getting worried about Naples. Two sets of these falls. And then they're going to come for us next, which is really not good. Not good. But see if we can go in. Nice. Cool. Begin the assault. Come on. 
I don't lose that many guys and that much equipment because we can't really afford to, but still. Innsbruck is going to be a problem, but that's okay. Nice. We're one tile away ish. Good. They're still attacking us on the other side here, and we can hold pretty darn well. Of course, they did make some of these guys 40 combo. Oh, we're good on artillery, too. I like that a lot. If you guys can keep that, those guys in place, that'd be great. Keep these guys in place as well so they can't move. So we can come up here and come up there as well. Keep these guys in place. Night assault tactics. Good, good, good. More organization would be even more beneficial. Nice, just go in. And you guys go in here too. Nice, you're actually connected now. Good. Hey. Not bad. Not too shabby. 180,000 versus 1.77 million. Not bad. And... They're done. Vietnam is gone. Well, I guess they're not technically gone, but still. Uh, you guys come over here. There you go. Yeah, let them attack us. Now, they are looking like they're getting a little bit more strength back, which is not good for us, but whatever. Hey, we actually... Wow, can't believe we actually did that. Holy crap. Now, don't get me wrong. I'd love to attack, but now we're really out of guns. Still, we can make another division. And some of these guys, like I said, are 40 combo with, so... Not bad. Could use a spot more uh, infantry equipment signals. Signals would be nice. Support company is still pretty good too, though. New Venetian arsenal and rocket protections because we can. Followed up with incentive research. No new economy. No new defense contracts. No military exercises. As a display of power. Uh, and to promote the morale of our army, we should organize a series of near combat training exercises near the Po River. Let our nation's enemies tremble. They should keep attacking us. I mean, manpower is not bad. We, we will raise it when we have to. I just don't want to raise it yet. 3,000 things. Holy crap. Yeah, okay. It's still, they're still holding, which is good. These guys are still losing. CNT still losing. The Russian Federation seems to be struggling quite a bit, though. They really do be looking like that. Oh, there is a conscription level again. Now they're in surface power requirement. Nice. Really don't want to attack here. But we could try it. Of course, the more territory we take, the more resistance we get. But we should have a claim, if not cores on Trias, which we should try to get next after this. Yeah. Nice. Nah, got another melee done. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, screw the load there, too. Why not? Come on, come on, come on. It's very costly to get this, but whatever. Very good. Like, give her guys some time, get some organization. When are you going to go to war with Austria? Spend the Boer mines, social liberals, national unity. Drop them from the sky. Uh, together against them. Um, you're not really attacking us anymore, which does kind of suck. Hmm. I do want Trieste. That'd be good for factories and such. You can try it. The horses are really not doing well, though, which is fine with us. Because they're not our divisions. Oh, actually, some tank divisions in there, huh? Oh, we can pierce their tanks, which is nice. They have air superiority, which sucks. Uh, maybe some anti-air. Then again, we don't have a lot of industry for this either. Yeah... Nice, we got Trias. We should give us more military factories. Or not. Okay. Oh, they're attacking us. Oh, never mind. We got a lot of dockyards now. Holy crap. Well, supposedly. Triple Ten joined the Cairo Pact. Fall of Barcelona. CNT FAI is gone. Very, very nice. Give ourselves some time to hang out. Union of Isons joined the Third International. Not bad either. Two Sicilies, please just do not lose. For the love of God, please do not lose. And we're almost out of fuel ourselves. Which is El Big O Sucko. We're so close to 41. Let's grab some of this stuff too. Mm, you can get 40 get one. Smash the war over. Nice. Hopefully they attack us again. But you know what? 
Let me go and read a couple more things, just because there's not much else that's happening. As a display of... Uh, I think I read this one, so if you want to read this again, please go ahead. But naval exercises. As a display of our power and to promote naval morale, we should organize a series of naval exercises in the Adriatic Sea. Let our nation's enemies tremble. And upgrade airports. To accommodate true air force, the various small civilian aerodomes that dot the countryside should be nationalized and expanded. Aviation industry, which looks pretty good. Italian aircraft manufacturers have been stunned by the turbulence that has plagued the peninsula since the end of the Valkyrie. To bring them back up to par with foreign companies, they shall have uh, they must have state support. Strategic focus, which I mean right now we're on what? Nothing. I usually don't go to description, so or uh not description, strategic. Air supremacy. The skies must be free from enemies and our armies un unmolested by hostile aircraft. Our Air Force should primarily be focused on establishing and maintaining control of the air. Fighter. Support. Fighters are the backbone of any Air Force. And to rest control of the skies, we must develop new models. And we all love models. Thank you. Uh, Paracadutisti. Paratroopers are a new type of unit which will offer the deployment of units to otherwise inaccessible areas. By developing more advanced airborne equipment, we will possess a unique tactical advantage over enemies, female pilots. Many patriotic women with flying experience find themselves unable to directly contribute to their military effort. Female pilots should be permitted to volunteer for aerial transportation and support roles. Radar effort. Radar is a promising new technology which, with further developments, could provide a wealth of information about enemy tactics and positions and reveal the enemy's course, of course, enemy aircraft, and rule the skies. The Air Force is no longer a ragtag collection of volunteers, but a fully functioning organ of our military. Let us rule the skies of Italy and beyond, and I'll see you after we've done a little bit more in terms of hopefully pushing. Now, everyone, um, at this point, the Serbians have decided to come into the war against the Belgrade Pact. So, Serbia, Albania, Romania, even though Bulgaria actually joined the other side. So at this point, um, I figured, you know what, they're they're retreating. So if Serbia comes in, we'll split up like this area, a lot of this area with the Serbs and Transylvania with the Romanians. They do have to deal with Bulgaria, so they can have that as well. And also they have Albania. Also, uh, we lost a lot of ships. I lost all my capital ships. God dang it! But whatever, you know, it is what it is. We'll build it up again. But let's see what we can do, especially as Austria is now on the defensive. Even more defense. Also, we had an initial push here off screen just because um, we were actually strong enough, which is actually kind of impressive. But still, so, and we did force out another division because they did naval invade us. Um, yeah, as you can see, these guys are doing okay-ish. They're still holding on for now, but uh, guys, can you all like go in? That'd be wondrous. Oh, and one of our agents was unfortunately killed. But let's get the guy who smokes, shall we? We shall. We shally, 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 shall. As we're watching, ooh, they're attacking us. Can we do a little bit of damage here? Oh, they do have air superiority. But they are no match for us. Sigismund, whatever his face is. Oh, that's a lot of divisions right here. I'll be honest, that's a lot of divisions. If we can't win there, I'm not honestly upset at all. I'll go here too. Get a split. Yeah, after this, I this this is literally what we've been waiting for the entire time. 2.2 million have been killed by us, even though we've taken 153,000, so. Romania do be looking pretty nice and thick already. Um, I'll probably take all of Hungary, besides the uh, Transylvania part, so. Ooh, we lost a couple subs, didn't we? That's only one, that's not bad. Go on, get out of there. Ooh. Now the Danubian Federation was not long for this world, my friends. No, it was not. Um. Let's go here, you go here. Let's go attack those divisions. Get to Sopron would be. Uh, you might still be able to win. Or just go. Just go to Vienna. Uh, how many more ships do we lose? A whole ship. It's a Valkyrie Gary ship. So. Oh crap! That's not good. Oh crap! Oh crap! We need more. Man, God dang it. Uh, service by requirement then. Uh, Austrian Germany sued for peace. Oh, fall of Vienna. Look at that. The tyrannical Habsburg monarchy troops have been beaten on the field by our glorious liberating armies. And not that they do not only wish to sue for peace, for the, uh, but also run to the Germans for protection. The German Empire has agreed to allow us any claims which we do not impede on what they consider core Austrian lands. So long as we make peace, fear to do so we mean war with the entire Reich's Pact. Which honestly, we can't afford that right now. Um, maybe later on we can. But for right now, even though, like, Russia, they're actually struggling quite a bit. And if we can wait and defeat the Third International, that might be a better solution. The Treaty of Budapest... As much as I really want to do that, <sighs> that would open up a massive front of these guys, and we would lose so much territory. I think it's just best to peace out, because I want to focus on the third, uh, third international next. I think that'd be the smart thing to do. 
Keep going in, guys. Keep going in. If they're alive, then you're not doing your job well enough. And yeah, I hate having no manpower too. Yeah, it sucks. Cuba's gone though. So what do we peace out with them? Mostar. Well, to Prague, I guess we go. Until we get a peace deal, we're gonna go all the way. Serbia's done quite well. Oh, oh, they're actually taking us there. Look at that. Not bad. But oh, Bulgaria's gone too. Oh, out right, of the Treaty of Budapest. Delegates from Legionnaire Italy met with their German and Habsburg counterparts in Budapest to hammer out the peace terms. Our gains in the ensuing peace treaty will be limited, as Germany is determined to protect core Austrian lands in the Littoral and Alto Adige, which happen to be mostly Italian as well. Still means peace for now, no war of the Reichs back. A magnificent victory. What the heck? Is that all we get? No. 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 I'm. Oh, at least we got Trieste. I can, I can deal with that for now. This is crap. Are you kidding me? These guys did really well, which means in the future. Oh, uh, they joined the Reichs back, which means they're going to try to fight us later on, too, then. Uh, well, time to find a new guy. So I don't know if this was really worth doing it like this, but it is what it is. Uh, but what do we, what can we do here? So reforms Yugoslavia, which is good for them, which we'll kill off later. But restore order in Trent, Trentino. Yeah. Restore order in Trieste, which is great. Join the Reichsback with Austria not out of the picture. We stand as the strongest southern uh, ally possible for the Germans, and we theirs. War propaganda. Going to that one too. I don't know all this stuff earlier. You know, Italy. Yeah, I gotta attack these guys next. So build up the Po defensive line. Has completed naval exercises, military exercises. Oh, we're doing air supremacy still, so we should probably do some more of the other stuff first. Oh, we have done that one. Oh my goodness, I should have read that stuff before. Okay, so you guys, go ahead and instead of that, do that. Train two. Because this is the only time we'll have enough manpower. This is dumb, but I'm going to play by the rules for now. Because we're going to come back and kill off the Danubian Federation. That's a bunch of crap. That really is a bunch of crap. But, honestly, this could be a lot worse just because um, it does give us, give the Reich's Pact, I should say, an extra ally. So that they can stand for now and help us, hopefully, fight back the Third International. These guys are, you have a ch double chin, sir, Leon. A million manpower, you guys have two million. So... This will give us some good time to hopefully uh, wear down these guys. So we'll see. Definitely see. We have a little bit of manpower. We did not get enough stuff here. Like, this is this is crap. And um, we're going to come straight back for these guys later on. But I want to get as much of Italy as possible reunited. So we have enough manpower, enough strength, enough industry. So we can fight these guys. That is my goal. So after Supremacy, we'll get that stuff too. Um, you guys come home. Do some counter intel for now. Oh, you're already doing that. You, actually, you know, go over here. Screw it. You both come over here. Pédemont. Air supremacy. You have to kill 2 million Austrians and Danubians, I guess you could say. Still not enough, huh? Bulgaria is also the United States of Yugoslavia. Temporary nation. No national representation. Too bad they're going to have to die later on, but whatever. Because we do have claims on Dalmatia. Wait, what under our claims? What the heck? Oh, do we not do it yet? No, we didn't. No. Hmm. There's no way I'm going to actually join the Reichs back now. After the decision they made. Nonsense. There you go. Not bad. Still mobilizing? Think good. Think good. Thank God. Yeah, fighting over this river is going to be a big old pain in the tuchus, too. Join the Reichs back? No thanks. Ease of conscription. Demobilize our economy. You guys are insane. You think I'm actually going to do that? Just because we're going to be going to war very soon, hopefully, anyways. Especially after this one. Ooh, Naples has fallen as well. Italy's united? No, definitely not. Ooh, a stable Italian Republic would be nice to do. Just as this has got to go. So, I recruit Sardinian generals. Fire support, of course, we need that one a little later. Oh, Italian liberation. Oh, look at this. The day of uh, Italian reunification is quickly dawning. We must uh, be. Fully prepared to liberate the rest of the peninsula whenever the opportunity rises. Get way more population. Okay, and go to total mobilization. Wow. Just fine with us. Actually, I kind of doubt we would need it. Actually, they didn't capitulate fully, so we didn't get that much equipment, which does suck quite a bit of Reno's. Alright, we have no more artillery or support equipment, which is probably a bad idea to do this, but we'll do it anyways. Let's buy five. Because we need to share the wealth. It's so many more factories that we got. And honestly, these guys go to war with us too early. I'm just going to kill them off. And honestly, like, later on, if we don't get a way to core at least Dalmatia, I'm going to force core, like, because 
We fought so long and hard for this. Trentino should be a core very soon. Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice. Oh, we're maxed out for... Oh, god dang it. We're maxed out for factories. Nice. Goodbye, Iron... Oh, or hello, Iron Guard. Cool. Get some more air bases, too. We... But, yeah. First step done. Another two exercises. And then, we'll go straight to war with them. Because they need another front up here, too. And is this... When selected, we go straight to war. Nice. Stop training. Uh, you guys stop training as well. Nice. Nice. Cool. We're going straight in. We could join the Ionites back. Or Ionites. Well, well Reich's back by now. Italian Liberation. A day of Italian reunification is quickly done. We must fully be prepared to liberate the rest of the peninsula wherever the opportunity arises. So we'll get to that, but it won't be too bad. There exists a network of resistance to the syndicalists within the Socialist Republic of Italy. Those who arise up have called. They've been working ever since the Civil War, and while their forces might ultimately not tip the balance in our favor, we can still use all the help that's available. I don't want to do a general attack. At the same time, I kind of do. If we can break over somewhere here over the river, that'd be phenomenal. Because we can picture like, these guys. They claim Trentino. Who cares? With the in erudentism and reuniting the country, the Socialist Republic of Italy is laid claim to the state of Trentino, currently held by the Legionnaire Italy. The Italian citizens in the region are understandably alarmed, although native Italians are already started protesting in the streets and demanded they would be reunited with the motherland. How dare they? Go in. Go. 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 Yes! We'll take some stuff. It's fine for now. The Nubian Federation. Union of Britain. Why would you choose this one to fight? Turn If possible. They're doing force defense over there, it looks like, somewhere. Maybe not, but oh my goodness, that was really bad over there for them. Nice, keep it up. Yes. I just want you to hold. Because now... Um, yeah, they're doing... Look at that. Force, literally force defense right there. Kill them off if you have to. Hopefully we get enough equipment this way. Uh, establish a rent to claim on Nice. <clears throat> Annexed by France in 1860. Uh, nice was properly part of the Italian domain. And it is in our interest to establish a more permanent claim on the region. Annexed by in 60 Savoy as well, and Upper Savoy. So yeah, we're definitely going to get this, this stuff back. I, I don't care. I don't care what the, the might have up per se. we got to get that back. Hold, hold, hold. I don't need any unnecessary casualties. Hold the line for now. And actually, you guys can go this way. Yeah, they're doing force defense. That's ridiculous. We already killed 70,000 of them off, which is not too bad, but still. That's a lot better. Let them attack us. Opening up a new front for these guys is probably a good idea, so... And hold there, hold there, hold there. Why did you leave there, man? Because they will be attacking us, as you can tell, tell already. And as long as some of this equipment can arrive, that'd be great. We need more guns, of course, and not more artillery, but... You know, whatever. Go ahead, guys, do the best you can. Not bad. Union of Britain? Hey, sure, guys, sure, why not? Yeah, why not? This should help with Germany out, so that's why I wanted the non-aggression pack, too, anyway, so... They should help with these guys, too. Fuel rationing is not bad. It's 41. We've got some better planes, maybe. Even though we can't really make that many of them. Alright. You're learning, which is good. Unlike the other group, which just killed themselves off. Is that Vietnam? Yeah, it is Vietnam over there, huh? Okay. Um. Yeah, don't lose, guys. We need to cause some pretty mass casualties here, so... We traded one stalemate to it for another stalemate. But this time, our guys actually should be a little bit stronger. Oh, look at that. Some convoys actually were sunk. Oh, yeah, that's what we want to see. Keep keep trying to beat us up, guys. Keep trying to beat us up. Need some anti-air would be very beneficial as well. Do they have your superiority? Yeah, they do. <clears throat> By quite a bit. What's going on in America? It's just a mess. Good job, French Republic. Good job. Just phenomenal work. Oh! We got some stuff here. That is not bad. You guys are going to die pretty much immediately though, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go in. Oh, we can't. Oh, 
that sucks. Poggers Luigi. Yeah, that sucks, man. They're team combo with two. It's not bad. That's not a bad division. Come on. Break out. Honestly, I'd rather just like delete these divisions. Because that division is just going to get killed off anyway, so. Um, yeah, not bad overall. That sucks. Goodbye. No. Oh, well. <laughs> if I could save these guys, that'd be amazing. I don't think we can, though. I'll just hang out here in Venice if we can. Leave, leave, leave. No! You're trying to get on the ship as they're attacking our front again, and actually we're losing on the front line again. Oh! Oh, crap. Let's take out the Yugoslavia. We gotta take out Moscow. Really, bro? Really? Make it, guys. Make it. Don't. Don't die there. Make it out alive. No! War propaganda. Someone should have Belgrade fucked. Cause of Ill and the Second's Dead is good to see. This is crap. Are you kidding me? They must have. Yeah, how, much, how many people killed off? 149,000. Holy crap, 149,000 is actually pretty good. For us, we lost about 35,000, which is not too bad. But we still didn't break over the river, so. Look at, how, look at their strength. Jesus Christ. I love it. Nice. And we're actually probably not going to keep total mobilization, but we'll see. Uh, fire support. Oh, we're on all adults, sir. Uh, is there any way we can put women in the factories? I would rather put women in the factories. We still need this. Ugh, it's so painful. I'm going to go back down here. Are we demobilizing? We're still mobilizing a little bit more. I'm totally fine with total mobilization if we have to, but like... Honestly, we don't really need it that much. These guys are coming back, which is actually really nice. You guys actually made it too. Look at that. Nice. And you're still fighting for the child. Nice. Any other upgrades, people? No, yes, no, okay. Radio interception, very good, very good. I want to break over the river here, but I just don't know if we can, actually. You guys actually made it. Holy crap, yeah, you used to just stay there. That's actually kind of impressive, I'm not going to lie. They actually made it. Oh, hello. Oh, well, that's not good. Well, this is pretty good. Nine convoys. Good job, guys. Wow. Oh, there goes Bulgaria. Yeah, at this point, um, Moscow, of course, need to die. Ooh, that's really bad for the Reichspact. That's incredibly bad. But we're done with the land auction, which is also very good, but still. Yeah, oh, these guys are actually encircled now. Look at that. Smarts. Kill them off. It's great. Oh, come on. Don't lose. Don't lose here. We're putting a lot of pressure on them. Nice. Nicety, nicety, nice. Good job. And 10 more convoy sunk. Beautiful. Oh, it canceled. At least that sucks. Overall, not too bad. We've got 73,000 French cheese too. Feeling relatively okay about this one. Oh, that's a sub, though. Wait, so are, who? So you're telling me? Then again, if we attack too hard, too fast, we're literally surrounded by the entire Reich's Pact. Um, hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I gotta do some funky stuff then. Maybe in the pizza, I'll just take all of Italy. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe not. Cause God dang, they're swarming through here. I mean, again. Once again, like, we could always fight in the mountains and drain enemy's resources that way, but I kind of don't like doing it like that. They're not seeming to be very strong right now. What would happen if we decided to join the Reich's Pact and then take and reunite Italy that way? Would that work? That might. Let's get Parma. Like the cheese. A lot, a lot of cheese in our lives. There's my life. I love cheese. Parmesan cheese, yes, please. Cool. Yeah, we're slowly winning as long as we concentrate our attacks. Actually, I want to check we out. We're not out that many guns, just artillery. Well, Shanghai, very good. Look at that. Not bad. Wait. 
Fighting Yugoslavia? Whose flag was that? I can't tell. Um, you guys should be able to push into here. Not bad? Sure, Greece. Sure. Support after that one. Female pilots, maybe. We'll see. Genoa would be super good to get get if we could. But there's too many guys right there right now, so we gotta wait just a little bit. Making any anti air? Yeah, we got 11 in reserve. It's not great, but still. Yeah, I don't care. Like, I, look, if these guys force us a piece out and we didn't get exactly what we wanted from the last piece deal, I'm gonna take whatever I want from these guys. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna play around because we need we need manpower, we need industry. Screw those guys who wanted to screw us over, man. Should be able to win here. Nice. Nice. Our support. Ah, oh, radar effort first. I do like radar quite a bit. Pretty good, pretty good. I don't want to cost too many casualties yet. We still don't have enough artillery or support equipment or light tanks, so. We have a three there ish. We'll buy one right there. We could use a little bit more steel. Um, here. Should help us a, a wee bit. Oh yes, quite a bit. Shooting system decryption, nice. Go in. Not bad. Oh, yeah. You know what? This were. Oh, why don't they give us some more support earlier? Nice. Hold one, go in. Hold three, go in. Good. Keep it up, Spezia. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, these guys are done. If it wasn't for us coming in, these guys would have probably died. Finish off this side. I'm definitely finish off this side. I'm pushing to France. Find a ways to negotiate for proper territory. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And they'll come over here and just start to bum rushing them. Uh, doing other upgrades, kind of doubt it. Yeah, level seven is pretty good for that other general. That's pretty nice. Ah, encircled. Guys are still putting in a pretty good fight. Russia is still not doing as well as I hope they would. Uh, but these guys—they're back at war with these guys, so that's not terrible either. I know there's a lot of guys here, but in the mountains, but still. Well, for now, they will die. They will just starve to death. So, and that's fine with us. I would like to get here, but we don't have enough divisions just yet to do that. But after radar, I'll probably do this one. Yeah, probably. Overall, not a bad episode, I'd say. Um, roads are so bad though. A lot more stuff we got done than I thought we would have originally, but whatever. Pay them all, get two. Level two. Are they attacking down there? No, they're, you know, they're, well, they are attacking, but still. Ah, Mexico wants to die as well. Oh, Mexico. Kind of doubt we could attack and win here, but we'll try it. So dumb. Yeah, just stack your border, coming to France. Stack it. Mateo? I 
I do not want to join the Rock's back. Oh, they're attacking us, huh? How are they not surviving with like, literally no supplies? Like, this is not a port. Hmm. Yeah, the upgrades for you. Could see I'm an expert. Why not? I do that. You should be able to score pretty big in here. And again, they have no more ports, so. Yeah, these guys should already be dead, but whatever. And naval adoption is not bad, but airborne technology because we can? Why not? You honestly should be able to win here. I know there's a ton of divisions, but like... There's literally nothing they can do. God, I would love to have some sort of artillery. Come on. Come on. Oh, you can't win there either? Come on, man. Alright, so how much anti-air? We do not have nearly enough anti-air that we really do need. Alrighty. How are they not taking enough to attrition here? What type of bad word effery is this? This literally makes no sense. They're taking attrition, but they're still holding out, and some of them aren't even taking attrition. How does that make any sense, man? Literally, no supply. I don't want to waste any more of our lives, so... Yeah, that's pretty BS. So, I think I'm going to do some more of this off-screen. So, rule of skies. There you go. Uh, Marina Nazionale Italiana. Our Navy is still organized much in the same impromptu structure it was upon the outbreak of the Civil War. We should centralize our naval administration in our new structure. Merchant Marine. During the Valkyrie, the Atlantic became a graveyard for Allies' merchant ships. And with success in the next war, certain to be no less dependent upon the availability of our merchant ships to transverse dangerous waters, we must have certain mer central merchant shipping administration to oversee convoys. Expand the San Marco Bridge. To which war upon foreign shores or to land beyond enemy lines and disrupt their organization, we will need to invest in new ambitious equipment and training methods. Reinforce the coast. The northern coast of the Adriatic is our lifeline to the markets of the world. And thus cannot be allowed to fall into enemy hands. We should tr construct new naval fortifications or coastal fortifications. So that no enemy shall land upon the shores. If we don't know about this, please go ahead. How dare they? Uh, Grand Navy. The Navy must be rapidly expanded with a focus on the production of cap ships to defend the coast. The new Navy should be oriented towards the protection of our coastline and disruption of the enemy merchant marine. Battle cruisers, of course, are both fast and armed with sizable guns. While battle cruisers may not be sufficient to form the core of our fleet, they are still fill a valuable role. Italian Coast Guard. A new branch of the Navy should be created with choose focus on protection of our territorial waters. Italian battleships. They are the pride of any Navy, large, well armored, and armed, and expensive to produce. New battleships entering our naval service will undoubtedly signal to the world that we seek to regain our place in the world. Italian submarines. And submarines were first used to great effect by the Germans in the Velt Creek. We have a submarine fleet of our own if our Navy is to be effective. Black cruisers. Black cruisers are bristle support platforms which can greatly assist bo ships both large and small. And rule the seas. Our Navy is now at least a match for the old Regia Marina, and is fully prepared to defend an alien crash upon our enemies like a great wave. But this literally makes no sense. How are you not able to beat them there? Oh my goodness. But I think I'm going to end it here for today because, well, we're at a little impasse. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will push the line up just a little bit more and probably watch the Reich's Pact come. Probably disintegrate. Somewhat. But thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.